what's the success rate? Yeah. Oh, do you look like a three-year-old? 10 out of 10. <gasps> My care level is so low right now. The milk. That is so good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Jump scare. a span of one week the weather has gone from cold to now having my aircon on before bed because it's so hot too hot to sleep under a cover sorry confused other than going to the gym today i just sat in front of my computer and edited my vlog all day so that's all you've missed uh really riveting stuff but i uploaded my vlog tonight so that's all done and feels phenomenal honestly all day while i've been working i've just been thinking about getting into bed and reading my book because i feel like most of the book not too much has been going on i've been enjoying but just like nothing like substantial has happened in the book yet i'm currently at 79 percent when i was reading last night before bed shit was going down but i couldn't keep my eyes open and i was really sad about it so and this next chapter is 28 minutes long so <laughs> let's see if i can actually get through that i normally read like two pages and then lights out because i'm so tired but we'll see how we go <laughs> expecting jump scare no that's even worse isn't it maybe i can just do this <laughs> so this is <laughs> well i wanted to have a chat in the car but i guess <laughs> i'm gonna drive home okay i just put my pasta on to cook for dinner i don't know why i mean maybe it's common i don't know because i'm not a runner but often when i play soccer i come home and i don't really feel like eating dinner which is not <laughs> like me at all like i'm never skipping meals Ever. But I just like, I only want something light and like no protein. Like I just want my Ninja Creamy for dessert actually. But I know I need to refuel after that. So I'm hoping that once my pasta is cooked, I'll have a little bit of an appetite. <sighs> I think it's just running for 90 minutes straight. Just like, Ugh. I wore my hair in two ponytails tonight and I still can't tell if I loved it or hated it. It's one of those things I was like, yeah, cute. And then I, the longer I looked at myself, I was like, oh, do you look like a three-year-old? But I just did it. It was kind of annoying to like run with, but technically my team's last game is next week, but I'm going to be away and I didn't realize and I've double booked myself. So tonight was my last game, which is so sad. Like I know so many people probably don't care about soccer, but I just, A, am so proud of myself for actually finding a team because I lived on the Gold Coast for a whole year saying I wanted to find a team and then just procrastinated doing it. And I know it probably seems so easy to some people, but joining a team full of strangers is so far out of my comfort zone. I like played soccer for the same team team from when I was like 9 to 15 and then I moved into like 15 16 year old girl teams instead of like mixed teams with the boys best day of my life when I stopped having to play with the boys <laughs> and even then I joined a team with a few of my friends from school and then I played for that same team from when I was 15 years old until I was 24 and then I moved to the Gold Coast and I was scared that I would just keep saying I want to join a team and not actually having the balls to do it so I'm really proud of myself I know it might not sound like a big deal but it is to me second of all I hit the jackpot with my team like I'm so lucky i found such a good team i wanted to find a fun social team who like didn't take it too seriously but equally tried hard had fun together and that's exactly what i found i don't know how i did it it's risky um but i did and the girls are so so great and we're already planning our end of year celebrations we're gonna do a big pub crawl i think along the coast which will be so fun and we'll have the club presentation as well and then hopefully a summer six or seven aside comp will happen and then hopefully we'll all come together and play again
again together next year. I just hate when like good things end. Like it's so sad. And like I'm such an annoying nostalgic person that I've been nostalgic about this season ending this whole time and now I'm actually here and it's ending and I'm like, oh, that sucks. We also had a cracker of a game tonight. Like we all played so well. We're second last on the ladder and we versed the last team on the ladder. So we were expecting a very tight game and we ended up winning 1-0. It was very much like our game. Like I can't believe how many goals we shot at and missed. Like I had a few cracker of a shots. Like I don't, I don't want to toot, to, huh? I don't want to toot my own horn, but they were pretty good. <laughs> and the keeper just got every single one of them. So like go off for her. I feel like we should have won by so many more, but I'm glad we walked away with a win. But yeah, just got home. It is almost 9 p.m. I'm really proud of myself for meal prepping my dinner earlier today. I made two servings of a mince thing. So I'm just going to heat up that, put it with pasta. I'm also really excited about my Ninja Creamy tonight because I buy this brand of milk. And then I noticed that they had protein smoothies as well. So I bought a few. I don't know. This isn't like the cheapest way to do it. But I bought some of these to have as my Ninja Creamy. So I've been using the Choc Honeycomb most recently. I use half a bottle for one Ninja Creamy. That has 15 grams of protein in it for dessert. So that's a sleigh. But tonight I'm gonna try, I got banana, honey, and cinnamon. I don't know how I feel about banana ice cream, but I'm gonna mix in some Biscoff biscuits as well. That's my, my go-to top in. Top in? Top. Mix in? Mix in. I mean, I have both of these in the freezer, but I only prepped this one today, so I probably won't be frozen enough, so I'll do this one. It might be good. I hope it is. And it's always the case, too, you always feel like your team has, like, finally gelled together and plays so well together once the season's over. Like, I just feel like we've been playing so well recently, and, like, classic. Season's done. Anyway, I have an early start tomorrow, so I'm gonna eat my dinner, have my new creamy, shower, prep everything for tomorrow, and go to bed as quickly as possible. It's 8.55. <laughs> I'd love to be in bed by 9.55 but I think that's cutting it. I also like know it doesn't matter because I know I hit the steps but my Apple Watch died right before soccer so I couldn't hide it in my sports bar and count all my steps. So my watch says I have 9,100. Like it's so close but so far but I know I have at least 12,000. Like I ran for 90 minutes but that's three days in a row of hitting my goals. I keep a little, you can't see that, notes app. It's kind of like a little diary entry and then I send a screenshot of it to my coach every Monday just to hold myself accountable. So I say what workout I did or if it was a rest day. I write how many steps I did and I write how my nutrition went and if I hit my protein because that's my main goal at the moment and Monday, Tuesday and today I've worked out hit 10,000 steps and hit no, my nutrition 100% it's always the first half of the week though that's good it's the second half of the week that always gets me it's not the end of anything life is getting better all day and I was like oh natural light so much natural light Clyde and said I like the one with the just a quick update I love this flavour of Ninja Creamy way more than I was expecting I feel like the honey cinnamon banana mixed with Biscoff actually 10 out of 10 it's really nice and sweet because I feel like sometimes you've have the protein shakes in there they're not super sweet like it tastes just like ice cream it doesn't you're lying this pretty close to ice cream and like i love ice cream like i'm not a fake food kind of gal you know that is so good hey guys how we doing oh we have low battery what <laughs> that sucks <laughs> Nine thousand one hundred seventy two. that's rude how come Before mine isn't nine a.m <laughs> Oh my god. That's impressive. This and yeah. Okay, so you need to just come on a morning walk with me every day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> have you been listening? I have been. What's your favorite? Do I got my mushroom back in my car. I love it. I got on um, a jelly cat key ring, the bunny one. I don't want to put it. Yes. I feel uh, like you should. It's only 36 minutes. Yeah. Short and sweet. So true. Whoa. I am a genius, actually. <laughs> Initial favourites were Taste, Juno, and Bedchem, which were, oh, we didn't even discuss this. Yeah, that's crazy though. <laughs> but I also am really loving Coincidence, and I yeah. also really love Sharpest Tool. Oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah! But I think, like, they're my, like, current. Lighter Girls and Good Graces are really growing on Good me. Good Graces! Is good so Graces good. is very Ari coded. Yeah. Lighter Girls are so good. Also, Slim Pickens is really growing on me. Yeah, I agree. No, I don't skip oh, any. Oh, yeah, actually, five feet. Five foot one. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rose setting ever. Rachel's hi! And brought us new yum. 
Dark Sunny Angels. Hello, New York. Three, two, one. No, you can't. No, I'm not. Three, two, one. Stimulating me so bad. I got another shower. I was like, yeah, I can have an early night, get into bed as early as possible because I've just been wrecked today for no reason. And then I got out of the shower and laid in bed in my towel for like 30 minutes, half an hour. I was gonna blow dry my hair tonight, but I think I'm just gonna wear a hat tomorrow, so I can't be bothered. Also, today I went and picked up all of the shirts I gave my alterations lady to alter. That's perfect. I feel like I have a whole new wardrobe now, actually. Uh, obsessed, actually. Oh, Winston. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm so excited to wear them all. I'm definitely wearing one of them tomorrow. I have a date in the morning. <gasps> Hi, darling. Hello. Had such a busy go, go, go day today, but it was so good. Rach is finally home from New York, so she came down early this morning. Down? Yeah, I always get confused. <laughs> Brisbane to go groceries down. Not important. My parents would be yelling at me for getting that wrong. <laughs> Came down this morning and we went for a huge long walk together. Walking with friends makes getting steps so much easier. Loved it. Got a coffee, went for a big walk with Winston. She came with me to run errands as well. We went and picked up my shirts. I also went to the Salvos and donated so many bags of clothes, which have been sitting in my office for weeks and then only sat in my car for a day. Like that's pretty impressive. Normally they sit in my car for weeks as well. Weeks if not months. So that felt so good. Then we came home, had breakfast, got ready, and then we went with so to go watch her try on wedding dresses which was <sighs> i actually have no words and um that's all really you get to know we all know how beautiful so is at this point so it's no surprise that our jaws were on the floor the whole appointment and then the traffic was really bad for rachel to head home so she just stayed for the rest of the night we went to the beach went for a sunset swim i'm so happy that the weather is good enough to start swimming again ocean swims actually fix a lot of things in me i won't lie i almost want to like start a challenge of like i have to like see a sunrise or a sunset every day and at whichever one i'm at most likely having a swim it does something to like my nervous system it's so good anyway went for a swim got some dinner came home and rode it on the couch 10 out of 10 and now i'm showered and getting ready for bed i have an hour left of my book i think i'm too tired to read an hour of it now but i feel like the last hour i have to be like ready for and i'm scared that once i start i'm just gonna keep reading but i need to go to bed do you know what i mean anyway i think it's a public holiday tomorrow for the date tomorrow i suggested a coffee shop imagine it's just like not open tomorrow it'll be fine another first date tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm excited anyway it's 8 55 i wanted to be reading by 8 to finish my book tonight but i got stuck on tiktok unfortunately i can't believe it's friday tomorrow this week has gone so incredibly quickly like not in a good or a bad way just in a quick way is it so bad to go to bed with wet hair i think it is but i <sighs> my care level is so low right now okay i'm going to sleep <laughs> Shocker! We're back! New packaging. I like it. I like it too. I do like hate that I strawberry matcha looks like that. like it. Once you've mixed it. I know. It's just a bit like, it looks so impressive at the beginning mm. and then it just looks oh. a bit grey, doesn't it? Nothing will ever compare. Love beat this. Yummy! Scrumdiddly umptious. It's a bit risky eating this in a white shirt, actually. I've just realised. Oh, oh you, you kidding yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Guys, I'm on Raya. Can you like say that you're on Raya publicly? Oh, surely. Yeah, surely. What is that podcast with the two girls? Give me a bit more. <laughs> Brittany and Laura. Uh, life uncut, uncut. I feel like she used to say that she was on Raya. Yeah, surely. Mm. Manifesting a Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically Sam Kerr. I'm kidding. I know she's happily engaged. <laughs> I would just love her in my life. <laughs> I don't think you could date Sam Kerr. No. <laughs> I'm 
absolutely not. Even just like a friend of Sam Kerr's would be fun. It's just like crazy that it's like people all over the world. Mm. It's so like, what is, what's the success rate? Yeah. For like long-term relationships, like, is it more so just like fun little hookups when you travel? Yeah. Or is it just famous people getting to hook up with people? Yeah. Or... Like I wonder who's the most famous person. Yeah, like who's on it? But also then like last night I saw someone who's like a friend of an influencer. Mm. So that you're on it. Oh. Fascinating. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Why is it so fun to say? Do you reckon Raya's more fun than Hinge because it feels less committal? Mm. I was liking people on Raya that I would not like on Hinge. <laughs> but also, I don't have my Instagram linked to my Hinge and I don't say that I'm an influencer. <laughs> I'm a liar and Raya, you're like, it has to. Yeah. It's the whole point. Yeah. So it's giving different energy. It is giving different energy. It's so fun being able to click on people's Instagrams. Like, it's just there and you click and then it just takes you to Instagram. It's so fun. Because it's going to be my new hyper food. <laughs> Whenever you're bored, just like yeah. wanting to scroll instead of TikTok, it's like, right. Yeah. You only get 25 likes or something mm. a day. 25 likes or 25 mm. swipes? I don't know. People. We love to mistake butterflies for cardiac arrest. Oh my gosh, I just want this to be full again. <laughs> oh, they're just like us. One's got a munchkin, one's got a strawberry. I'm just like uh, who? You're just like me. You're just like me. I'm just like you. Yeah. You're just like me. <laughs> mm. Maple bacon. Maple bacon. <laughs> Do you like bacon? <laughs> Stop right. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the same guy. It's a laptop right. Why is it so funny? Strawberries, chicken, beef mints, banana, milk. Banana. Yeah, I feel like that feels clean. Oh, I don't really want to do this. Right, we'll just get in, get it done, get out. <laughs> I just put the dishwasher on, so sorry if you can hear that. But I have a grocery haul. So I feel like I got in and out of there so quickly. Like it was genuinely very impressive of us. I kind of felt like we were racing each other and that made it all happen so quickly. Get a bottle of wine. I got some Gatorades. I had this the other day. Wait, no, this one. The Powerade No Sugar Peach and Apple. And I would never think that peach and apple go together well, but this is so yummy. And then I got a Gatorade No Sugar Mango. Is Gatorade or Powerade better? Like what is the difference? As we all know, obsessed with my <laughs> protein milk for my Ninja Creamies. These are stock standard in this household now. I got some bagels, some carrots, some microwave rice. The chocolate chips I used for my oats were on sale. So I got white chocolate and milk chocolate. I think I prefer white chocolate, but it's nice to have options. Kit Kat Golds for dessert options. If I don't feel like ice cream, having my Ninja Creamy. This is the healthy bag. <laughs> Bananas, avo, capsicum, cucumber, broccoli, some milk, eggs, chicken for lunches, mince for dinner. I've almost said dessert dinner a punnet of strawberries and a punnet of blueberries i'm not the biggest blueberry fan i only like this brand driscoll's firstly they're huge so crunchy and so sweet these are the only blueberries i like and that's my haul it's like 4 p.m i should meal prep my dinners but do i just do that in a couple of hours when i cook dinner i don't know i kind of just want to sit on the couch and read my book loving so far i'm loving how it's written and i can already heavily relate to so much of it which i think is a very common theme with that book with everyone like obviously that's why everyone loves it but i'm excited to keep reading i feel frazzled i'm gonna put my groceries away and then we can see how i'm feeling smells so toasty and I love it. I've just gotten into bed. I ended up getting up to nothing this afternoon. Reading, editing, more reading. That's it. I'm currently on page 85 and I'm gonna read this. It's currently 9.30. I wish it was a little bit earlier but I'm gonna go to bed and end off this vlog here. Thank you so much for coming along with me this week. Thank you for keeping me company. I feel like it ended up being quite a chaotically social weekend, like second half of the week but overall really great week. Doing a bunch of things I love, with a bunch of people that I love. So thank you for joining me. I'm gonna love you and leave you and I will see you in my next video next week very very soon